Now, uh, before anyone says anything, I realized that I started making, ga uh, started making games in June of 2020, and it is now December of 2021. Um, I'm just gonna say it's my first year, because I did go on hiatus. I did keep my promise, I did say I would return before Christmas. Well, I guess technically it is Christmas when you're watching this, but eh, let's not split hairs here. I'm back. Again. And, um, I have figured out a system to, uh, keep me motivated to, uh, produce content and work on my games. And it's worked well so far. We've had promising results. Anyways, just thought I'd, uh, give you a little bit of an update as to what's been going on in, in uh, in this little game, in, uh, this unnamed, this unnamed game. Um, so yeah, I've been basically trying to work out an inventory system um, for this game, because it's going to be a survival game, and that's pretty important. Oh yeah, also a crafting system. Yeah, let's just head over to this planet. Um, there's a little graphical glitch there. Oh, there's my inventory, and I have a little crafting screen as well. I can craft things. I don't have any items. Um... Yeah, oh yeah, I also figured out how to, um, plant trees. Alright, here we go. Oh gosh, I fired too late. Uh, oh, gosh, that has gotta hurt. Um, here's the moon. Alright. So, um, yeah, if I want, I can pick up this rock. And now, that's in my inventory. And if I go and harvest a tree, Blink, oh. Blonk. I now have all this stuff, and I can use my mouse wheel to cycle through the items. Whoa. Look at that moon. Look at that eclipse. Okay, sorry. So if we see, I can craft a wooden plank with one raw wood, which I do have. So I can just click on that, and bam! Wooden plank. Pretty nice. And if I get a few more of them, and collect some stones. All right, so now I have, my anyway, inventory is almost full, you can see. Um, and I have, now I have six stones, and I have two raw wood, which I can craft into wooden planks. And now I have the materials I need to create a campfire. There we go, so let's just cycle over to my Campfire, and then uh, hold on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty nice. Okay, so for the uh, itinerary, I need to um, basically. So the the current inventory system is using uh, a list as the dictionary. Um, so it's literally just listing all the um. Like, like, every item in my, in my inventory is just a, a string. And, um... It's just a list of strings, that's a whole inventory, and it's... It's, uh... That's not gonna cut it for what I'm trying to do, right? Because I'm gonna need, like, an icon, I'm gonna need... more functionality, so I'm gonna figure out how to use dictionaries. And I th hopefully it should be simple enough to, uh, convert over to that. Um, oh yeah, saplings. I figured out how to plant saplings. I don't know why it, it sometimes doesn't click. And... Boom. We can plant trees now. This is crazy. This is everything that everyone has ever wanted in a game. Oh, what? what? That's weird, okay. Well, I found a bug. <laughs> So, my first year of game development, was it success? <sighs> I mean, I, I guess, maybe? If we take a look at my projects folder, you can take a look at my finished projects, and I have uh, 11. 11 finished projects. I mean, I don't know, I, I do wish I had done more. Um, I've 
talked about this at length in other videos, and you're probably sick of hearing of it, but my biggest uh, obstacle in my game development journey has always been my own lack of motivation. Um, and it's something I've struggled with pretty much my entire life. Um, just, I mean, yeah, whenever I've tried to do like a creative project, it's always, you know, getting distracted, um, just, and just not having motivation in general, uh, to do the things that I want to do. And it's a very, it's a very bizarre state of mind to like want to do something and having the tools to do it at your disposal. But there's just this part of your brain that's like just holding you back just uh, you know for no apparent reason but like I but like I said earlier I did I did develop a system that has had some positive uh, results so far um, so I think I think overall that and combined with me returning once again and um, having you guys to basically be like that pressure to be like okay I need to get you know I need to show these people my work so Hopefully that's going to help me. Um, we can also take a look at my development folder. And see what projects I never uh, really expanded upon. So, yeah, make of this, meh, make of this what you will. Anyways, guys, um, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. And Happy Holidays. Um... 2021 has been a year. Oh, hey, it literally just turned Christmas. I'm recording this. I started this recording on Christmas Eve, and it just turned over to midnight, and now it's Christmas. Wow, it's a Christmas miracle. I don't know. I don't know how to end this. Okay, thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.